Have you ever had multiple CSV files you need to get over into Excel? But rather than import all of the data from the CSVs into one sheet or tab, you need each CSV to be its own tab or worksheet within your workbook. Well, I've got a Visual Basic script that will automate this process for you and make it a whole lot easier. I cannot wait to show you how this works, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we have 12 CSV files that we want to get over into Excel and open them in a separate tab based on the CSV file name. Now if you notice this says Microsoft Excel comma separated values file, it will work exactly the same if these were to say .txt file or .csv file. It's going to work the same way. I just happened to open these up in Excel. So the first thing we want to do in Excel is create our macro enabled workbook where we're going to put our Visual Basic code. So when you navigate to where you want to save it, give it a name that you'll remember. And I always put template at the end of mine because template to me means do not change it. So I'm not going to go in and inadvertently make changes to it and it should be always ready to go. So I'm going to name this one import multiple CSV files to separate tabs template. And instead of saving it as a regular Excel workbook, I'm going to save it as a macro enabled workbook. And then I'm going to tell it to save. And if you noticed, it changed our name from book one to our template name. Now we're going to be using our developer tab. If you do not have your developer tab, you can go to file, go down to options, under customize ribbon, on the right hand side here under main tabs, you can go down to developer and make sure it's checked and then tell it OK. Now we're ready to insert our Visual Basic script. So from our developer tab, we're going to go to Visual Basic and it's going to bring up our Visual Basic box. Now what we're going to do is go to insert module and there are several places you can put this Visual Basic code, but you want to make sure that module one is selected and we're going to paste our Visual Basic code in. Now down in the description is the exact Visual Basic code that you need. So you can just copy and paste it from there. And here's our code and we're going to save it and then we're going to X out of it. Now we want to run our Visual Basic script or our macro. So from our developer tab, we're going to go over to macros and you'll notice this is our macro name combined CSV files and we're going to tell it to run. We're going to go to the folder that contains our CSV files and here they are 2010 to 2021. Now we can select just some of these or we can select all of these. Let's go ahead this first time and select all of them. So I'm going to control A. And if you notice in the file name, it has each year or each CSV file name in quotes. And we're going to tell it to open. And if you notice, we have a tab for each CSV file with the name of that CSV file. And also it created a whole new workbook called book two. Now we can make any kind of formatting changes but I would highly recommend you go ahead and save it first with whatever name you want it to be and where you want it to be located. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and I'm going to tell it not to save this. And then I'm going to go ahead and close out of our template. And I'm going to go to where I saved the template and reopen it from there so you can see what it looks like. So double click on it and you're going to see security warning macros have been disabled. Go ahead and tell it to enable it. Now we're going to go to developer, go to our macros, and there it is. We're going to tell it to run and then navigate to where our CSV files are. Now let's just say I don't want all of them. Let's just say we want 2010. We're going to hold control, get 2015, and then maybe 2020 and 2021. If you notice in the file name, it's just selected those four. Tell it to open. And now we have just those four. Now you have what you need to open multiple CSV files in separate tabs in the same workbook. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you have any questions, feedback, or ideas for future tutorials. 
and be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.